Hello, fellow YouTubers. It's old Uncle Reggie. I'm coming back at you. I'm in a, I actually woke up in a really, really, really good mood today. I, uh, well, the birds are singing outside. The sun just poked out. I mean, we had a couple of crappy days of rain and thunderstorms here in southern Michigan, and it's been it's been like that, you know. So, uh, anyways, but uh, you know, all this stuff about this abortion stuff. I mean, it's pretty gross. It's pretty disgusting, you know. I don't want to know about babies getting their heads cracked open and sucked out with a little thing. It's pretty, you know what I mean? We got one side they're saying, yeah, yeah, you know, we, we want our abortion. And then the other side saying, no, you can't have it, and here's why. And then they show pictures of aborted babies, and it's pretty gross. Um, I got to say, on both sides, you guys are you guys are freaking animals. But one thing a lot of people are, are, like, brushing over and not even thinking about. I took biology. I was, you know, I, let's just say I was a scientist at one point, you know. Um, and I study this stuff and, you know, the rights over their argument is life begins at conception. And, and I, it just never really, you know, and, and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, these people are ridiculous, you know, and they said the heartbeat law, the heartbeat law, you know, once the baby has a heartbeat, it's viable on its own. Like, no, that's not entirely true either. You know, you know, there's, I mean, it, I, I, and it, in the perfect storm, maybe, you know, if they got the right doctors and the baby, you know, happens to fall out or something, they could probably put it on an incubator for the next couple months and, you know, you know, lots of hopes and uh, lots of prayers and, you know, and uh, it could happen now. It could happen where the baby comes out fine and it turns into a, an adult, you know, even a, you know, a track star or whatever, you know, who goes out and, and, uh, you know, it could be the next Martin Luther King, or, you know, there's that's the other argument. You know, what if you're aborting the next Martin Luther King? You know, no, not everybody's going to be a Martin Luther King. But there is a slim possibility that could pops possibly happen that your, um, that your adopted baby, uh, your unwanted adopted baby could turn into a, a you know, a, a football star or something. You end up with your, uh, Colin Kaepernick's of the world. You know, that exactly, that's exactly what happened to him. His mother decided to have the child. Uh, his daddy ran off on him, and he a little bears a little bit of a responsibility on the males too. The males need to show a little bit of of, of, of uh, testicular fortitude, not just in the sack. You know, I happen to be pretty good in the sack, but uh, here nor there. A lot of things. The one thing that that, that everybody's missing is this. I don't think I want to title this uh, video the um, the misconception of conception or the. the conception misconception something along those lines because there is a misconception of when conception actually happens now um the female is is when, when a female has a, a baby inside of her and, and and the baby is developing and it turns into a, a girl baby it's already got the ovaries developed with all the eggs it's going to ever need for the rest of its life they're all in there it's not like the, the eggs are being produced like a factory they're already in there okay now, as far as the male goes, he you get a couple of testicles and stuff like that. The male keeps producing sperm his whole life. It's, it's like a factory. It is like a factory. It's not like you get a, a big quart of it and you lose weight as you get older. You know, in the bathroom by yourself with the little magazine and the paper towels. You, you, you don't lose weight. It, it just keeps, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a byproduct. Um, but it is a product. Okay, now if you look at sperm under a microscope, it's just, it's just a little swimming little guy, you know. You got, you know, uh, forgive my, forgive my, uh, my, my mess here, but uh, you know, I got this little dry erase board. You know, it's, it's got this little, it's. I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch me draw. You got the little head on it, and then, and it's got this little neck, and it's, and it's got a tail on it. See, so kind of looks like that a little bit, and it just swims. It's a little swimming little boy, and boo! He takes off like, like you know. Uh, uh, like an Olympic swimmer, and then it hits the egg and it goes in. But it's a swimming little dude. So now, if if you if you were to see something like that happen, because I've seen these electron microscope uh, images of sperm, and they're there's like a, a, a hit a and they're just all swimming. They're just a racing. If you seen that on Mars, you would call that you would call that life. So the misconception is that life begins at conception. Is that true? It continues at conception. You understand it continues it, it it doesn't start there it continues there because those little sperm are alive you know and the fastest one wins you know or it could be two 
You know, there could be double double insemination. But the myth is not even a theory. It's a myth. It's a story. It's made up in your head. In somebody's head, and you're just repeating it and regurgitating it like the, like like Rachel Maddow does. You're just regurgitating. Blah, 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 and someone else eats it, and then they regurgitate it, and then their friends eat it. Don't do that. Life continues at conception. And that bears a lot of responsibility on the male, too. If that you men need to be teaching their youngsters and, and, and ladies too, you need to be teaching your youngsters that this is this is not the case, that it does not start at conception. That bears all the all the weight of responsibility off the male. The little boys need to know when they're coming up 10, 11, 12 years old, whatever age the parents think is appropriate, that the youngsters should know, the little boys particularly, that is your seed. Is her egg. That egg is lifeless and useless without the seed. If 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 you continue the way you're going, you're not going to have any responsibility. You have all these men. There's no responsibility. The men are just taking off on the girls. It's not, it's not a big secret. You know, seventy percent divorce rate. What the hell is that? I'm just saying. For the little boys out there, coming up, you know, your little Alexanders and your little uh, Brents and your little. Your little, uh, you know, brads of the world. Uh, they need to know this. That, that their little boys are swimming. Those are alive. That's a part of you. They're alive. You're, you're worth more than, just, you, you know, you're worth more than that. To think that life starts at conception? That's just selling yourself short, look, young man. You're selling yourself short. You're just bearing all the responsibility. Now it goes on the woman. You're halfway responsible for that child if you get her pregnant. Halfway responsible, halfway, equal, you know, but without that sperm, that egg doesn't get fertilized and that sperm is alive.